everyone and welcome back to the cradle and welcome if you are new here today I am gonna do a little changing with my little newest baby one of my newest babies this is little baby Mila she is a preemie sized baby she's teeny tiny a little dainty thing and the weather is really good here in Florida and I don't know when it's gonna change it can be very unruly at times but uh, it flips back and forth. I mean, we had temperatures down in the 30s last week and now we're into the 80s this week. But I have this cute little outfit that I bought on Amazon a while ago and it is by a company called Nursery Time. And I'll show you the tag in just a second. And it comes with these sweet little bloomers. And this is an outfit that I bought uh, for specifically another baby that I had last year in my collection and she never got to wear it. This outfit is actually for a size three to five pound baby. You can find these on Amazon and this is how you spell the name of the company and you can get different sizes so they have the three to five pound size and I think they have like five to seven pound and I believe they have like two to three pounds I think so I just thought I would try this little outfit on her to see if it would fit it does barely have sleeves, but I don't have a sleeveless onesie that is small enough for her. So I might take her onesie off so it's not showing through. And I do have a preemie sized baby boy now. He is the, the Zendrick Sculpt and he is about the same sizes her but he is quite a bit more chunky than she is she is a tiny little thing she does have a pampers preemie diaper on And she does have this beautiful blonde rooted hair. So I'm trying really hard not to mess up her sweet little hair. And she's so little that I don't even have any little shoes to fit her. I do have a pair of socks, but I don't have any booties for her. I need to try to find some cute little crocheted booties for her. But her little feet are less than like less than two inches long she has the tiniest little teensy feet so I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to find a little pair of booties that small <laughs> they're so little she's such a teeny little girl as you can tell the bloomers are quite big but I really feel like the bloomers are more newborn size but they're going to be under the dress so I'm not super concerned I love that it opens up plenty, so I'm not messing up her hair. But I was just curious to see if this little dress fit her. I have another little dress by Nursery Time. I believe it's pink. She does fit in this little dress. It actually looks really sweet on her. Oh my goodness. So cute, even with her little feeties hanging out. She just looks so sweet. I am thinking about putting a magnet in her head so I can do a little magnetic bow for her, but she looks super dainty and cute in this little dress. I'm so glad it fits her. Because like I said, I have another little dress that would fit her too. Uh, I think this dress might fit another smaller baby that I have as well. But it looks so super cute on her. She just looks adorable in this little dress. 
So I have sweet little baby Mila here and this little cutie pie I just changed into a new outfit. I'm not super loving the sleepers on her because they look really big and bulky, but I do love it when she is wearing a little pair of preemie pants. Uh, Carter's fits her really well and little onesies, whether they're short sleeve or long sleeve, everything seems to look really cute on her as far as that goes. Uh, I do have a bunch of sleepers for her and I'm gonna keep trying, but so far the ones that I have for her have been a little more on the bulky side. But this little baby really needs a magnet in her head. I would really like to put a little magnet inside and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But first I'm gonna show you the little bows that I have. Uh, you can go to any craft store probably. Um, I went on Amazon as usual, what's new? And I got a big pack of like 50 bows. They're just bows. But I got these teeny tiny magnets. You can buy small, like two millimeter, whatever magnets. Um, and I put them on these little bows. I glued them with a hot glue gun and just did it myself, added magnets to them because I'm gonna need one of these when I go to put the magnet in her head to hold it in place so she can have a little bow because I don't wanna ruin her hair. She has beautiful hair and it's really soft. She has beautiful soft hair and I just don't wanna wreck it with headbands or hats. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take off your baby's head how to pull the stuff on the inside out and install that magnet. We're gonna glue one in there real quick. So I just put down a little baby blanket here for her so I don't get her messed up in any way. And I just have a zip tie that you can get from McPherson's Arts and Crafts. These are doll zip ties, so the head is really tiny on them. You don't wanna use regular zip ties. You want these really thin, tiny doll zip ties. I have a pair of like, like little pliers that you use for jewelry making. Um, I get them at Walmart in the jewelry section. They usually have like arts and crafts section and there's like a specific area with beads and you can find these little pliers too. You need these. Um, and then with your baby, you're gonna want to find that little head to the zip tie on the neck. And what I do is I use these little skinny pliers to try to pry it out a little bit. Sometimes you can just loosen it up enough where you can um, pop off the baby's head like so. So there you go, there's that. And then you're gonna have to still cut that zip tie and put a new one in so that when you go to put your baby's head back on, you use these little clippers or a pair of scissors. Um, <clears throat> when you go to put your baby's head back on, you're gonna already want the zip tie in there. So I'm just gonna string it through like so. And we are gonna get that all ready to go. So I'm gonna put that aside. And we don't need this blanket anymore. I've been painting here and it's dry for the most part, but I just don't wanna take any chances. So you're gonna need to go into your baby's head and pull out their stuffing. And I do have a little baby powder wafer that I'm gonna put in her when I go to put her back together. Um, I find those are called Wonder Wafers and you can find them on Amazon. I have a lot of stuffing in her little head. She has a heavy little head. And she's got a little stocking with her weighting material. That might be the most difficult part to pull out because if 
her artist is anything like me, I like to put the stocking inside the head and then fill it while it's already in there. So if you can get it part of the way out, you can just shake and it should come out, no problem. It was a little bit stuck. I think because she has hair, her artist probably put some E6000 glue inside the head and to seal the hair so that the hair doesn't come out, which makes me feel really good because then I know her hair is stable and it's not gonna come loose from brushing it. <clears throat> but just gonna put that aside for right now. So you're gonna need something called E6000 glue. This is what it looks like, but I'm almost done with it. So I kind of curl it up like a tube of toothpaste so I can get the most out of it. Uh, you're gonna want a paper plate to put your glue on just so it doesn't get everywhere. And you're gonna want a little paintbrush. I'm not using a very big one because I'm just gonna glue in a tiny magnet for her. I have the bow that has her little magnet on it and we're gonna use this so that we know that the magnets are going the correct way on her head. So I also have this little magnet. It's a DIY magnet that you can find packs of them on Amazon. I get magnets in all different sizes and you can actually find packs like a hundred pack and it has all different sizes and that's usually what I do because I use my magnets for all different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glue ready because once I place this magnet, I'm going to want the glue ready to go. And you're not going to need very much. I'm just going to put a little dab, which is why I don't need a very big paintbrush. And I just want to make sure that I don't get this, like I don't drop her and get her hair in that. So I'm going to put the magnet on here and put it out of the way because E6000 glue can be very dangerous on a baby with rooted hair. You want to be very careful. If you get that E6000 glue on that baby's hair, it's probably not going to come off. You might need to rush to go wash it. Good luck. It's going to be a mess. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to place her little bow with the magnet about where I'm going to want to see it. So if I want to put little bows on her hair, like right about there, I'm probably going to want her little magnet right there. Looks so cute. I think it'll look really cute right there. So I'm going to put her upside down with where I want this to be and I'm gonna drop the magnet into her head so it goes straight to where that little bow is like so and it stays on right where we want it. So at this point I can move it around and make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. I can even put it further forward or move it back. You can kind of move it around and see where I'm gonna want it. I might even want it back here. That might be really cute. I want some of her hair forward, so I think I'm gonna leave that little bow like right about there. So here's where my glue comes in. You're gonna wanna get that glue on your paintbrush just like so. Make sure there's no strings. And I'm gonna wanna go in to her head. There is some polyfill in the way. But I'm gonna locate my magnet in there. I can see it. And I'm gonna wanna put that glue right on her magnet and glue that in there so it 
moved just a tad. So I'm just gonna leave the little bow in place for now to hold that magnet where I want it while the glue dries. And I will probably give it a couple of hours. This only took me about five minutes to do and it will take a couple hours to dry and then I'll have to piece her back together again, but it's gonna be super easy for you to do. Um, hope this helps some of you if you're wanting to put a little magnet in your baby. Disclaimer though, just make sure you are really careful with that E6000 glue. You don't wanna ruin your baby's hair. I put that glue over across the table <laughs> away from her as soon as I was done with it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the garbage can. So the glue is now dried on this little one and I put her waiting uh, stocking back inside her head with her stuffing. And I just wanted to show you guys when you go to put the head back onto your babies, you just wanna make sure that they are loose so that they can still turn. So I just slowly tighten this little zip tie but I make sure that the baby's head can move. You want it to be loose enough where baby can still move her head back and forth. So we're good on there. So we are just going to clip this little zip tie as close as we can get it, nice and careful. Make sure baby doesn't fall over because their heads are very heavy when they're weighted. <clears throat> so I have this sweet baby girl all put back together again and I'm just going to use this little toothbrush to tame her hair. She has a tiny little head so you don't need a big brush for her. Just a little toothbrush is fine. Totally fine. So she's perfect. And we're gonna put her little bow and it goes, it's just attracted just like that. So she looks so cute. She has her little bow in her hair now. Very sweet adorable and of course she has her magnet for her passy still you just have to be careful when you're putting the magnet in that you don't get it stuck to the magnet that's in their mouth but that is it for this video on this sweet little baby girl she is all snuggled up on the boppy and ready for a nap. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps some of you if you have a little baby that you wanna put a magnet in so that you can use little magnetic bows for them. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and take care of those beautiful, precious little babies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.